question. If you were in the Secret Service, would you open the door to a presidential event for people to come in carrying well, I, I don't think those laws are going to change, but... Would if, you, if, if you were head of the Secret Service, let people walk into a presidential meeting carrying guns? Would you? I think it would be would fine you? if... You yeah. would? It's if you were amazing. head of the White House Secret Service, right would now. you let people come into that auditorium, 10,000 people all carrying guns? Well, the would you let them do it? has armed security. I'm asking you, would have... you do that? What are we? What are the people? I'm only asking a question, sir. I said I'll give you all the time in the world. I'm going to put the question to you, and you can take five minutes to answer it. If you're head of the Secret Service, would you let... The... Regular people walk in to a presidential event armed. Well, regular people, sir, are the ones who are supposed to run this country. Absolutely. They do not lose okay. their Second Amendment rights. So you would have no problem with that? If they're abiding by the law. You would have no problem. This okay, let me amazing. go to Mr. Levin. Levin. Okay, he said it's okay if he were head of the White House Secret Service detail to let the whole room fill with people carrying guns. Uh, th this I, I don't know what to this make is, of that, except it's a pretty is, pure position. Th it's pure and it's insane. As someone who's just lectured federal and, and state law enforcement just on Friday about this, there's a real risk of assassination in this country, and it's not just to the president. You see the anger that's out there. And yes, most gun owners, including myself, are law-abiding. But guess what? We have a fundamental right to interstate travel, but I wouldn't allow someone to ram an SUV into the arena. Uh, we have a fundamental right to freedom of speech, but we don't let people with bullhorns shout down the president at these towers town halls either. The fact of the matter is the Supreme Court, look, Antonin Scalia, he's no liberal. He said that, you know, we can regulate this stuff. This is not, you know, for any purpose whatsoever. And these okay. are the, the extreme Let positions that gun, gun owners rights. of America consistently take. What would, what would be your position on the level of firepower? Would it be okay for you to, for a person to go to a presidential meeting carrying a semi-automatic rifle? Would that be okay with you? What Brian is talking about... Now, let me ask you the question. Would it be okay with you if a guy walked into a presidential town meeting or a presidential debate between McCain and Obama or someone else carrying a semi-automatic rifle? Would that bother you? It, it bothers me when the government tries to restrict the right to keep bare arms and, and even if even if it's restricting citizens. them from carrying a semi-automatic weapon into a presidential debate. You're talking about a hypothetical. No, I'm not. Never Look, hypothetical. It, it never we got a, a, a dozen firearearms at the last but presidential debate in Phoenix. But they're not breaking any laws. Chris and Brian is is, is talking We're about, talking about decision. We're talking about Helen, common sense. Uh, that Thank the you. regulations can be in place, but these people are not breaking any laws. That's why they're allowed to carry. That's why we're arguing so about there's it. Because no, we're no not problem making, with these. We're people. not talking about a law. You say it's, it seems perfectly reasonable. How many people do you think think like you? That it's reasonable for the, the president to be surrounded at every public the event majority. by armed people. The majority of, of the American people support concealed carry, the right to keep and bear arms. The majority of the United States. Oh, it's okay to go to a presidential event with a concealed weapon. The majority of the United States Senate, 58 members, supported a concealed carry amendment just a, uh, just over a week ago in the United States Senate. That's Democrats, Republicans alike. This is a, an issue that cuts across party lines. People have a okay. fundamental right to defend okay. themselves. Okay, do you fly on airplanes much? I, <laughs> I'm asking you, you fly on airplanes. Yeah. Do you, does it bother you they have metal detectors? Yeah, I, I think that the, the um, we, we supported the right of... of uh, pilots to be armed in defense of no, no, terrorism. No, I'm talking about somebody getting on the plane. The right of somebody ahead of you on a plane. Somebody ahead of you on a plane. You don't think they should have law-abiding the citizens with concealed carry permits should not be disarmed. Uh, that we, we so we choose. should have people we flying on airplanes choose. carrying guns. Yeah, well, th there's been so much misinformation. I'm just asking. You keep saying that. No, I'm just asking. I go on a plane. I have a metal detector. I think some of this stuff at TSA doesn't make sense because I think taking off your shoes is crazy and all that. I think there's a lot of stupid stuff that goes on, but. I think the metal detector makes sense because I don't want anybody getting on a plane with a gun. Okay? Any, anytime a state or locality makes it easier for citizens to carry guns, the chicken littles of the world always say the sky is falling, the no, blood's going to run in I the just streets. live in a world and where... if law-abiding citizens were allowed to carry guns on airplanes, we would hear the same thing. Okay, let thing. me tell you how I disagree with you. If I get on a subway in New York or a big city, I'd like to know there's no guns on that subway. If I go to a movie theater you in a big city, I'd like to know there's no guns. I'd like to know there's no guns. I'd like to have a metal detector. It'd be nice, but... I'd like to have a metal detector in movie theaters. I'd like to know there's less guns in this city. I wouldn't mind if a cop stopped people in the street if they, got, if well, they look like they had a gun. Sounds like you don't want to be free. I and, don't want to have my can, city you turn into Dodge City. To go to the movies, uh, you you want the, how many people get murdered in this country every year by guns? Thank you very much, John Donko. And you're perfectly right to your opinion, but I think it's insane to fill gyms and field houses with people carrying semi-automatic weapons and expect the President of the United States to come in. The number of assassinations in our history is extraordinary. Lincoln, Garfield, McKinley, Teddy Roosevelt was shot at, FDR was shot at, and they shot the mayor of Chicago by accident. Harry Truman was shot at, they killed the Secret Service agent, Puerto Rican nationalist. Jack Kennedy was killed. 
Jerry Ford was shot at twice. Ronald Reagan was almost killed. Had it not been for the Secret Service agent, he would have been dead. We live in a dangerous society when it comes to elected officials. Let's not make it more dangerous. Thank you, John Velico. It's a free country. Are you armed? This is a D.C. Are you a birther, by the way? You're not one of those guys, are you? I was born. No, do you believe the president was born here in this country? I have no opinion. One more you have no other. opinion. You're not part of that crowd, though, are you? I'm a Second Amendment advocate. But you're not part of that crowd. Just tell me. You're not part of I'm that not, crowd. I'm part of You're the, not one of those people that doubts he's a I'm part he's of the legit- crowd that... Are you one of those people that doubts he's a legitimate American? I, I'm, not, I'm not taking the bait, Chris. I, I'm just a Second Amendment advocate. But, you don't, you don't, you, but you're not I'm one to give... The, 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 way, do you think he's a legitimate American? Do I think the president... Yeah, he was born here. I'm here to talk about... But you can't right answer that people. question? Okay. You don't have to answer the question, but I'll answer it. I think he was born in the United States. I, think, I don't think he should be picked up as an illegal alien. Like, you guys seem to think you have to keep no. the, ocean, the question open. No, I, we never said anything but what do you close say? to that. What do you say? We've never said anything. Okay, thank you. John Velico is not taking a position. He's agnostic on the issue.